The SVG Sports OTT Forum is live from the Pally Center for Media. Christian Hernandez here for SVG. I have the pleasure now to speak with Tracy Shaw of the WWE. Tracy, how are you doing today, ma'am? Good, thanks. How are you? Doing well. Uh, thanks for coming here. Uh, you guys had a big project over the past how, how many sore months? Uh, it was about two years. Okay, so let's turn months into years. Uh, you relaunched and revitalized the WWE Network, your biggest streaming platform. Take me back to the beginning. What were some of the goals that you guys had as a company and some of the expectations heading into this kind of rebranding? So um, basically when we started out, it was we've been listening to our fans for the last five years that we were on the platform, that we had launched the network. So we launched the network in February 23rd, 2014. And then we were listening to a lot of our fans about what they wanted and um, how they wanted to view the contact content, what the functionality was that they were looking for. Our mission at WWE is to bring smiles to people's faces. So it was, what can we do to make sure that we're ensuring that those smiles on people's faces and as technology changes as it evolves we needed to be innovative as well and we're a very forward-thinking innovative company as it is um, so it was a, con a consistent iteration on what our fans were telling us and looking out at the industry to see what was becoming best in class and then we wanted to match that and make it better so it was really the goal was to make sure that we could give our fans the best experience they could possibly get, as well as the best quality in the content, as quality is key to our brand and who we are. And then make sure that we could get it into as many people's hands as possible so that we could globally make sure that all of our fans were getting the best experience they could they could possibly get. Yeah, so you take that feedback from your fans, you start the process. Your role was kind of to make sure everyone was kind of on the same page to make sure that things went as smoothly as possible. Take me into that process and honestly, how did you get the job done? <laughs> well, um, as we were talking about when we gave our, our presentation earlier, so, you know, working with a multiple amount of companies is difficult. Working with them on different continents is difficult, so different time zones, different cultures, different ways of, of working. Yeah. Um, so, you know, WWE in itself is a multi-department company. We're very large. We've got lots of functional areas, and each one of them touched the WWE network in some way, shape, or form. So when we were looking at how we were going to replatform the network, it was really how are we going to manage all of these departments within WWE plus our new partners and make sure that everybody was communicating, was talking to each other, everybody had all the information that they needed and everybody knew the deadlines that they were going to need to meet, which I can honestly say was the most challenging part of the project for me was making sure that everybody was all the trains were heading towards the station and they were going to reach there at the same time so that we could pick up the cargo and move on. Sure, sure. Um, so it was it, that was a big challenge and it's, it's difficult enough as anybody who's worked on any large projects know you have dependencies with one department or one company or one vendor. Now we've got cross-functional complex project across many departments within WWE and many departments within two other companies. So now the project's done, <clears throat> excuse me, project's done, champagne's probably popped now that you kind of finished it, right? How has it been since the, re the, the kind of the relaunch and what are fans saying either on social media or right to your face or anything? W what has the reaction been since it's kind of launched? So um, I'll tell you a funny story about the launch though. So we, j we launched in July of 2019, okay. but yet we as a team didn't really feel like we launched. Sure. So yes, we clinked the, the champagne yeah, and we said good yeah. job yeah, and yeah. everything. But it wasn't until we really got through SummerSlam in August of 2019, which was our first big live event on the new platform, that we really felt like we had yeah. launched. Okay. So um, it was, OK, July, great. We launched. We were able to move everybody over. We were able to move all of our subscribers over. There wasn't, thank goodness, any yeah. major issues. Yeah. Um, and then it was great we did that, now get back to work. We sure. gotta make sure that SummerSlam works well and we're able to do that. Um, in uh, for WrestleMania 34, we had 1.5 million concurrent streams. We needed to make sure that we could meet that without any issues on the platform because that to us was gonna be success. So, um, but our 
you know, our fans came back to us. They said, fantastic job. They were really, really happy. They were happy with the way that the new metadata was working, the search, the discovery. Um, all of the work that we really felt like we had put our heart and souls into, it felt like the fans were really appreciative of. And as we look at how we're going to do more of the localization of the network, um, to make sure that it was easy for somebody to toggle between different languages, different closed caption file, different closed caption languages and things, um, it really makes us feel like we're really tr doing what we had set out for, which was the goal of putting the network into as many fans' hands as possible and bringing that smile to people's faces. Sure. So two sentiments I want to send your way. Congratulations on a great job and job well done. And best of luck. You have the WrestleMania of next month, correct? Yes, April. Right. Crown Jewel event for you guys. Well, Tracy, I appreciate you taking the time to speak about the process and hope you enjoy today's event. Thank you very much. So for more from the Sports OTT Forum and more uh, stories about what Tracy's doing and everyone in the OTT space, please head over to sportsvideo.org.